Hello guys and welcome to my CSGO strategy book where we're going to talk about basic tactics on DE cache. We're going to talk about a default tactic, an A site smoke tactic, a split A tactic, a B site smoke tactic, split B tactic, split B from CT spawn, and we'll cover a few extra grenades as well. So for a default setup, this is where you're going to try and gain map control and slowly work towards the site based on what picks and what map control you have. So the map control we're going to gain is from Squeaky, the A main area, mainly the middle and the B holes area as well. Just to get a few picks, see what you can get, see if they'll play aggressive and whatnot. So we'll have one guy in Squeaky, one to two guys in the A main and one guy on the boost, one to two guys in the mid main and one to two guys B main area. So if we get a pick on the A side, the squeaky guys will push onto the A, the A main guys will push onto A, but if we don't, the A main guys can pull back, the mid guys can push up mid, take control there, or they can work through into the vents to take B, and the B main guys can push B or fall back. Can use the middle area that rotates from B and A main to mid, take the other side as well, as mid is such an important place on this map to hold and for rotation. Alright, now we're going to talk about an A site smoke execute. So this is where we're going to attack A from the squeaky area and the A main with using smokes from A main. You can have people in both mid and B main just to hold, to wait for rotations to provide a different angle or to distract while you push into A. That's one guy in squeaky, three to four guys in A main and then one guy either boost, mid or B. The smokes are going to be between the red box and the forklift on top of the heaven area and the molotovs will be at the forklift at the quad and at the MBK corner. So let's have a look at how to do this. So the first smoke will be between the forklift and the red box. This smoke can be done from behind A main. It'll land there blocking off short and truck to being able to spot people coming out of A main. You do have to worry about a forklift, so just be careful there. You can do this from A main as well, so less executed, and you can do it through smoke if you light it up properly. The next smoke will be for heaven. You jump on top of the uh, box here, outside A main, and it will pop on heaven, blocking off people using heaven to spot squeaky in A main. You can also do this from A main if you wish. You can do it through the smoke by lining up with the stuff on the ground and crouching and lining up with the wall. Box off heaven quite nicely. As you can see. MBK corner molotov, you can do this from A main. Box off MBK corner, forcing them out. You can also do this from the squeaky area using the roof. And a follow-up Molotov for that as well. You can Molotov off the quad, forcing anybody playing there out into the open. And you can Molotov off Forklift from A main as well. You can also Molotov Forklift from the other side of A main, further back into Forklift, meaning they can't actually spot you as you're running out. For the flashbangs, there's quite a few flashbangs you can do. You can do it over the middle of the A main area. This will flash people in quad and truck. You can use the same positions as you would for the smoke to flash into the smoke. This will flash people in quad as well, as well as heaven. If you flash over the top of the middle area, this will flash people in the MBK corner. And flash people at truck as well. You can also flash from squeaky to MBK. This will flash people at MBK and quad quite nicely. Alright, now let's have a look at the split A smoke execute. This is where we're going to put pressure on the highway area, A main, and the squeaky area all at once. This is a very strong execute, if executed correctly, and mid control can be attained with relative ease. So you can have one guy in squeaky, one to two guys in the A main, one guy on the boost, 
and then one to three guys in the middle area. Maybe one in the B main area. The smokes are going to be for Zcon. The site smoke to block off quad. MBK corner smoke to block off that. And a smoke at truck as well to block people from coming up truck to spot you as you're running up highway. Molotovs are going to be for forklift, for MBK corner, and for quad. So let's have a look at how to do these grenades. So the first smoke is going to be Zcon. This can be done a running jump smoke from T spawn. Make sure you know this smoke before you try to execute it, as it can be a little bit difficult to do and can miss quite easily. If you're out middle, you can also smoke off Zcon quite easily, just using the left hand wall there, and that smokes off much cleaner, but it's a bit harder to do. And you actually have to be out middle to do this. For the MBK corner smoke, you can do this from behind A main. So block off quad and MBK to A main area, so they can't actually spot you coming out. You can also do this from A main as well. This will block off the same position quite nicely. For this strategy, you're going to plant on the left-hand side of the site. You can also do this from highway. For the site smoke, you can do this from behind A main as well. So this blocks off quad spotting highway with an AWPer or someone as such. So you can run up highway quite easily without being spotted. You can do this from A main as well. So you're going to plant just to the right hand side of that smoke. Right next to that red box. And you can do this from highway. This is a right and left click smoke, which I'll block it off completely. For the truck smoke, you can jump on top of the box here. And do this from behind A main. This blocks the left hand side of the truck. Now, there is a gap at the right hand side. Depending on how well you do your sight smoke, that gap can also be blocked off. But they do have to expose themselves to actually be able to get to, through that gap. You can do this from A main as well. You do expose yourself a little bit when doing this smoke. So just be careful. As you can see, there's that gap there. But it can be blocked off. If you have the smoke on sight, good enough. And you can do this from highway as well. Molotovs for MBK corner, you can do this from A main. Molotovs them out of MBK and forcing them to run out. You can do this from Squeaky. You want to get it as far to the left of MBK as your corner, so they've got to run through more of the Molotov. And you can do this from highway as well. To Molotov off the quad area, you can do this from A main, and you can also do this from the highway area, force them out of that position. The forklift, you can do this from A main, this will Molotov off forklift, you can do this from highway. For the flashbangs, over the top of A main can work straight in the middle. This will flashbang most places on site. It will not flash forklift or MBK. You can flash through A main. This will not flash forklift either. It may flash MBK if you get it far enough. This flashbang here will flash MBK, but just be careful it may flash your teammates on highway as well. It will also flash the truck area if they're out far enough. You can use flash from Squeaky here, which will flash MBK, and also may flash your teammates on highway, so just be careful. You can flash from highway as well, flashing over the white box. This will flash MBK as well, and flash quad as well. And it also flash truck. Now let's look at a B-Site smoke execute. 
this is where pretty much all your forces are going to come in from B main. You may have a few distracting forces in mid, squeaky, or A main. You're going to have three to five guys coming through B main. Maybe one distracting mid, boost, or squeaky, depending on how you want to play it. The smokes are for CT and for heaven. Molotovs are going to be for generator or headshot and for back of wooden box. So the first smoke, you're going to throw this from B main, it's going to land right in front of the CT entrance, completely blocking that off quite nicely. The second smoke, this is a crouch smoke. You can do this as a running smoke, I prefer the crouch smoke because it's more accurate. This blocks off heaven. There is a small gap, so just be careful. Molotovs, you can do these through the window. This one goes into generator, molting off that spot, forcing them out. It does also hit a little bit behind that box as well, which is good. You can also use it from B main, molting off the generator there. Molotov off the wooden box, you can do this through the window as well. Forcing them out of that position. And you can do this from the main as well. You're a bit more exposed when doing this one, so just be careful. For flashbangs, you can do these through the window. This will flash people in generator if they're looking kind of at it. They can use a box to cover it, so just be careful there. Flash people at the back of the site and people have them as well. Flash from B main you can use, same as you would for the CT smoke. So flash people at generator, flash people on the right side of the site and CT. You can do a pop flash from B main as well. This will flash people at generator, right side of the site watching B-Main, Heaven watching B-Main. Now let's look at the split B tactic. This is where you're going to hit from the vents and from B-Main at once. You're going to get that middle control and you're going to hit from the vents and B-Main. You can have a guy distracting it squeaky if you wish. So you're going to have one to two guys in B-Main, but most of your force is in mid. So one to two guys coming out mid and one guy boosted, and maybe one at squeaky if you want to play it that way. So the smokes are going to be on the mid box, in the middle of mid and the right side of mid. CT and heaven as well, for the B side. Molotovs are going to be for generator and for the back of the B side. Let's have a look at how to do this. The first smoke which is going to be for the right hand side of middle you jump on top of the box smokes off the right hand side of the middle stopping headshot from watching a main you can do this from the main as well blocks it off quite nicely the second smoke you do from the other corner of middle I'm aiming at the top of the windows there so that's what I'm aiming at this blocks off the middle part of the middle Combining with those two smokes completely blocks off middle, so you're going to run out middle without being spotted from headshot or from Seacon. You can do this from the main as well, aiming at the window. Just watch out, there's a small gap on the right hand side with that smoke there. To block off the box area, you can do this from the back of mid main. This can be a little tricky, so just be careful and make sure you practice it before you try to use it. This blocks off the top of the box, blocking off your entrance to the vents, so you can run into vents without being shot at. You can also do this from mid main as well. can be a little exposed here, so just be careful. For the CT smoke, smoke this from B main box off CT so they can't spot you as you're running into B site. Almost a must needed smoke. You can do this from checkers as well. If you don't have this smoke your pole B strat can pull apart pretty quickly as it's a very easy place for the CTs to get one or two kills and just fall out. For heaven you can do this from B main as well. I like to crouch when I do this smoke to make it more accurate otherwise if it fails it can throw up your strategy a bit as well. You can do this from checkers as well. You can be a little exposed as you see from CT, but that's okay. This completely blocks off it. There's a small gap at the right hand side, so just be careful when you're running up to B that there is a gap there. 
for Molotovs, the generator, you can do this through the window. Molotov soft generator, forcing them out of that position. You can do this from B main as well. Make sure you get the right angle. And you can do this from checkers as well. So you're using the Molotovs to force them out of their favourite positions and into less favourable positions where you can pick them off pretty easily. The back of the wooden box, you can do this through the window. You can pretty much Molotov the whole site through the window if you wish depending on what the favourite positions they play, but these are the Molotovs that I think will work the best. You can do this from B main as well. And you can do this from checkers. You are really exposed when throwing this checkers Molotov, so just be careful with that. For flashbangs, you can do these through the window. This flashes people at generator if they're in the right position, as you see. They can use that box cover. Flash people back at the side and at heaven. You can use the B main entrance as you would for the CT, smoke as a flash, flash people at generator, flash people on the right hand side of the site, unless they're up against it, and CT as well. You can do a pop flash through B main. This will flash anybody watching B main actively. If anyone's not watching actively, they won't get flashed. You can flash from checkers as well. This will be a pop flash as well, if they're actively watching checkers, otherwise it won't flash them. Now let's look at a split B site from CT spawn. This is a more interesting strategy, however it can work, and it can catch them off guard if you try to attempt it. So this is where you're going to put a lot of pressure on mid, and you have one to two guys coming from B main, one to two guys from mid main, one guy at boost, and maybe a guy at squeaky just to distract, make them think you're going a split A. The smokes here are going to be one in highway, one in CT to A, and one at CT to B. So the idea is the guy coming mid to B will go through heaven, and some guys can also go through the vents as well. Molotovs is going to be for generator and for the back of the site. Let's have a look at how to do these. So the first smoke, which is going to land at highway, you can throw from T spawn. This blocks off highway completely to middle, so they won't know where you are. You can also do this from this open room as well. It's a little bit difficult, so just be careful. They can actually jump on top of that little hot thing, so just be careful there as well. You can do this from middle, if you wish. Again, you got to be careful, you got to be... Yeah. There can be gaps sometimes with these smokes if you don't get them quite right. And you can do it from middle here, this is probably the best place to do it. You can use this to change up your strategy a bit. To smoke here, you can smoke from T-spawn. You don't need to worry too much about that that gap there, as you're going to be running to heaven, not to CT. So you can run along that left side. Again, you can do this from Z-con. So they won't be able to spot you as you're running up to heaven. For the CT smoke, you can do this from B-main. Blocks off CT. And you can do this from checkers as well, you're going to be coming through those vents as well. CT is a very important position to smoke off, as it's a very easy position for CTs to pick you as you're crossing into the B site. For Molotovs, you can do these through the window to Molotov off the generator. You're forcing them out of their most favoured positions. You can do this from B main as well, just make sure you get the angle right. You can do this from checkers as well using that back wall. So you're forcing them out of their favourite positions into less favourable positions or positions they're not so good at. To molot off the back of the site, you can use this window as well. This window can be used to pretty much molot off the whole site if you want to, if you want to afford that many molotovs. Just use the molotovs where you think they're going to play. So you can do the back of the site from B main as well. You are exposed when you throw this molotov, so just be careful. Same with the checkers, you're also exposed when you throw this molotov, so be careful. Flashbangs, you can use this window as well. 
But this window is very good for monohops and flashbangs, but it's pretty useless for smokes. That flashbang is quite nice, it flash a lot of people on site if they're in the right positions. You can use a flashbang as you would for the CT smoke to flash other positions. You can pop flash if anybody's actively watching B main. Or pop flash anybody actively watching B main from any area. You can do the same for squeaky. If anybody's actively watching squeaky, you can pop flash that as well. All right, now we'll look at some extra grenades. So this smoke here. If you haven't spotted anybody highway, this smoke can allow you to get out of squeaky without anybody in quad or MBK knowing you, forcing them into this position. And forcing them to play site or back MBK waiting for you. This smoke here allows you to get on top of this box and spot B main without them seeing you. It's almost a one way smoke. This Molotov here will Molotov off the default plant position if you think people are playing there. This Molotov will Molotov off the left side of the quad, so you can combine these with other Molotovs to Molotov completely quad. These couple of Molotovs will Molotov out people out of vents if you think they're playing there. So that's one side of the vents, and back it up with this Molotov, so as soon as they run out of vents, you, they'll get into another Molotov and die. This Molotov is going to Molotov off the sandbags, force people out of there without having to expose yourself to them. Back of Checkers Molotov. Who think people are playing there? Flashing middle, you can just flash over the boost spot. Flashes people in Zcom. And at the white box if you get it far enough. Another couple of flashes in middle, you can flash over the red box. Pop flash anybody actively watching middle. From both uh, Zcon and Highway. And Sandbags as well. This smoke here. We'll smoke off the site, red box area. I do have more smokes like this, so if you want to look at them, check the description. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.